Today I'm going to share with you a tip on how you can improve your workflow in Adobe Premiere Rush using the duplicate feature. You want to learn how? Stick around and I'll show you. What's going on everybody, Claudio here and welcome to my channel where I share tips and tools to help you share your story. As I mentioned at the start, I'm gonna show you how to use the duplicate tool within Adobe Premiere Rush to really help you improve your workflow, get those projects done. I would say a lot quicker because you can copy a project you've already made so you can kind of create a template. So let me go ahead and jump in and show you how. So I have my projects window opened up. If this is the first time you are learning about Adobe Premiere Rush, I'll have some links to other videos in the description as well as up here throughout the video. So here are different ones that I've worked on for the past year. And as you can see here, I have like a promo July 8 side-by-side -side branded promo. So one of the things I've done to kind of help me improve my workflow is take the project that I've done. I've already got the video laid out in there as well as my logo, uh, my intro. So let me go ahead and click to show you what I'm talking about. So here I have my logo layer. I have kind of this intro with my name and then I have all these different icons for different apps that I'll use that I can easily swap out. Now, instead of recreating this whole project, uh, taking the time to piece it together, what I'll do is go back home here and these three little dots, this is how easy it is. The project options, I'll click there. And as you can see, I have the duplicate option. So what I'll do is click there and I'm going to rename this. Let's see, let's, call this one what is uh, today's date um i think the next one is next wednesday is the 25th i'll have to check my calendar just to make sure i could easily change that click on duplicate and as you can see i have kind of the same project side by side named differently so now i can go into this project and here is the old footage and what i'll do is hit the plus sign up here and look for some new media, drop it in here. I'll have to kind of slide some of the layers into different areas, but really it's just so much easier instead of starting from scratch. I have kind of like my ending here already in place. So what I'll do is just kind of swap out the footage, do a little shuffling, trimming the intro and outro of the video, and then I can easily export this, saving me a ton of time. This is a huge time saver. And something else, a little extra tip here. I'm gonna click on those three dots once again. This is for my new video. Now, one thing here, if you can see, there's a turn sync on and there's a delete from device. So right now this video is only living on my computer. If I turn sync on, it's going to save to my creative cloud, and then I can access this project on my iPad, Android device, iPhone, whichever other device you have, it's living in the cloud so you can access it anywhere. Sometimes I'll leave this on by default or I'll turn it on manually. It just depends on what I want to do with the projects. Uh, it does take some time to sync, so kind of be aware of that as you work on projects. Hopefully this is something that you can use to improve your workflow within Adobe Premiere Rush. If you have any comments or questions, please do leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and click on the bell to be notified for those future videos just like this one so you don't miss out. Thank you again for watching, and as always, be good to one another. Peace. I'm out.